Let's make a vegan plov. This is a rice dish made on a huge wok normally and uh, it goes with chunks of uh, lamb, okay? But because it's vegan version, we're gonna replace the meat with mushrooms. You know how to shave potatoes, not potatoes, carrots, right? That's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna cube them. Small manageable cubes, like supermarket size. By the way, you can buy frozen carrots. Okay. I'm not gonna <coughs> protest against it. It's gonna be two carrots, one onion, and about five or six mushrooms. Also, you need olive oil, salt. You can add bay leaf, bay leaf, not bay lily liquor, bay leaf. All right. You can be generous on oil because uh, there will be no more fat from meat or anything. And you need this little bit of fat, you know. This is a saucepan that will be only utensil on the stove. After we kind of uh, fry those carrots with onions, then uh, we'll add water and rice, okay? In proper proportions. By the way, you can buy frozen bags of chopped onions as well in supermarket. It's annoying. For some people, maybe it's satisfying to watch how I chop onions. For others, it will be annoying. But do you think it's not annoying to chop it? So. That's the small price to pay for the awesome vegan recipe. It's already heating up. It will take about 10 minutes to saute onions with carrots. And in the end, I will add garlic four little gloves of garlic you don't have to because you will have to maybe french kiss somebody tonight so you don't need garlic breast okay i just did it for the full experience i don't have bay leaf but i will crush some garlic uh, Black pepper in the end. Washed. Mushrooms. Don't chop them too small because pieces of meat usually go large. So, not more than in quarters. Not smaller than quarter mushrooms pieces mushroom will absorb a lot of water probably after it sauteed li little bit dehydrated so you get to adjust uh, proportion of water towards rice it's gonna be one to three one rice one cup of rice three cups of water. I use hot water right away, boiling water. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like in the supply of mushrooms. So you can steer occasionally in the saucepan. Sateing <laughs> is easy because nothing burned that much as on a flat skillet. It's annoying to watch, but what can you do? Maybe I should trim this video next time. This kind of video. If you are wondering what kind of uh, hot plate stove it is, I will show you. I decided to add garlic. And in a few minutes, I will consider sauteing for done. This is called Ovente Infrared Burner and it's about $60. Clean, convenient, you can wipe, wipe it off and it's very portable. And if you live in some kind of uh, dorm, student dorm or halfway sober house when it's illegal to use electric utensils you can hide it under your bed when you finish frying your garlic you know I recommend this hot plate doesn't start fire because it's not as hot as those red hot burners so take measuring cup you don't have measuring cup Take any cup, okay? And add rice and water in proportion one to three. I have boiling water, so I'm gonna add boiling water right away. Now salt, you need to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. You can add one teaspoon and see how you like it closer to the end. Now you can add bay leaf and black pepper Here is the idea, that's how you pack it, single serve, you see a mashed potato. And also you can, I plan on portioning this plough into four or five plates like that. Put a sticker 
on top between layers of foil and there you go